There are several biographies of Golda Meir, and they are all cradled to grave stories. None dwell on her life as a woman surrounded by men. The men surrounding her mostly were shaped by a culture of sexism. They did not value women in the public sphere. My book is unique for precisely this reason. It is focused on Golda's perspective as a woman and show how to, shows how she struggled with a deep prejudice against women in power and how she climbed up the political ladder to the position of first woman prime minister of Israel. My book opens with two photographs. In one, Golda is four years old, cute, a cute and lovely girl. In the second, Golda is 71 years old, hosted by the President of the United States. She is walking confidently alongside the President and the First Lady, but she is not there in her capacity as a lady. She is there to discuss matters of war and peace. The question I ask throughout my book is how did this happen? I address Golda's political ambition as well as her determination to fulfill herself as a woman. In this feminist biography, I also discuss the, the activities in fields considered to be the domains of men, foreign affairs and national security. My book also evaluates Golda's role in the traumatic 1973 war. I show how Golda's gender shaped her behavior during the war and also discuss how Israelis blamed her womanly qualities for the debacle.